J.L. Yes, J.L. Yes, J.L. I've been waiting a half hour. Not now, Mel. I'm busy. Got to get all his sons-in-law on the phone. Main 674. Board of directors meeting tonight. This is the first, you know. They all know it's the first. They know there's a meeting tonight. The whole town knows it. Just the same. J.L. insists they be notified officially. Hello? Higgins Ironworks? Mr. Early, please. Higgins. 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 Yeah. That's not a family. It's a disease. Yes, Henry Early speaking. Oh, yes, Mrs. Peterson. I just want to remind you there's a board of directors meeting at J.L.'s house tonight at 7 sharp. Arthur Winslow talking. Oh, yes, Mrs. Peterson. Naturally, naturally. The usual time, yes. No, Mrs. Peterson, Mr. Brooks hasn't been in all day. I don't know. You've got to find Mr. Brooks and tell him his father-in-law expects him. Yes, Mrs. Peterson. By the way, have you tried his home? His wife might... She's hung up. we just got to find Mr. Brooks. Oh, but that's ridiculous, Mrs. Peterson. He must be at his office. Please help me locate him. You know how strict your father is about the meetings. Well, don't worry, Mrs. Peterson. I'll see that he gets there. I think I know where he is. All right, buddy. Here we go into the home stretch. Come on, let him out. Come on, Broadway Bill. Come on, Come on Princess. Hurry up. Oh, swell work, Whitey. Go on, take him back to the barn. I'll see you back there. Hot diggity. What'd he do it in? One minute and 40 seconds. 1.40? Yeah. Gee, that chops another second off. Oh, no, boy, at the rate he's going, he's liable to break the world's record. Ha, 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 that a boy. Huh? That animal sure can pick him up and lay him down, boss. Oh, he's still stalling. Stalling? Yeah, sure. Going the fast, you never seen with the naked eye. <laughs> nice work, pal. <laughs> I'm sick of him, man. Hey, hey, what's this? What is that? Uh, Miss Alice will teach Skeeter to do that. Skeeter? Yeah, yeah that's his name. <laughs> Miss Alice give him that name. Oh, you got a regular mascot and everything, pal. <laughs> oh, right? it's a big affair between these two. Say, you seem to know more about this horse than I do. You've been hanging around here an awful lot, Princess. Hmm. Want to make something of it? No, but I was thinking of Emperor Higgins. <laughs> Better not let him catch you. Emperor Higgins doesn't know I'm alive. I'm just the young brat in the family. Well, you will stay single. Get married. Give him another son-in-law. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Somebody to take care of another one of those Higgins Enterprises. I know. <laughs> no? Pull him out, boy. Yeah, hurry up, Whitey. Walk him around for about an hour, will you? Just get in the cash? Yeah, give him six. No more now. That's him. Yeah, you take care of him. I'll break your neck. <laughs> Come on, Bill. Uh, that's a great horse, Princess. <laughs> I wish you were running right now. He'd create a young sensation. She's got everything. Background, stamina, and the will to win. That's important in a horse, you know, the will to win. Imperial Racetrack opened last week. Don't you think I know it? Say, I saw your boyfriend this morning. What's his name, Bill Taylor? Say, Dan, why don't you? Why don't know what? Take Broadway Bill down to the track and start him racing. Are you crazy? Well, what are you waiting for? You've been dying to get out of Higginsville ever since you came here. Your heart and soul are in horses, and you're making paper boxes. It doesn't make sense. Hey, what's got into you, anyway? Oh. You're a fool, Dan. Oh, I am, huh? Yes. I'm afraid you just become another Higgins slave. Boss, you, you mind if I have a high idea? What is it? You know, I've always been honest with you. You know, I cut off my right arm before I lie or steal anything. All right, what is it? You know, I always read my Bible and I don't mess around. Come on, quit stalling. What do you want to tell me? Well, boss, I, I've been adding things up. I've been subtracting, too, and dividing and multiplying, and it all comes out to the same answer. It just ain't honest for to be racing Broadway Bill for nobody but us and the squirrel. Say, who asked for your opinion? Go on, get out of here, will you? Uh, uh, Go on. Uh, uh, Beat it. Uh, come on, Bill. Hey, Mr. Brooks. I've been looking all over for her. Your wife wants you to come right home. There's a meeting tonight. Go on, beat it, will you? Yeah, but she said if you... Go on, get out of here, I told you. Oh, well, all right. I was just trying to tell you. It's very important.
Hey, Margaret. Yes? He made it in 140. What do you think of that? Who made what in 140? Broadway Bill. I don't worry on him. Say, why he must weigh at least 150 or... Do you realize there's a meeting tonight? When are you going to finish dressing? Say, listen, let's, let's duck the meeting, huh? Did you take a bath? Sure. You still smell horsey to me. Say, look, I'll take four baths in a row if you'll duck the meeting with me. Now, don't be silly. Say, Margaret, there's a full moon out tonight. Let's, let's go out and sit under it, will you? All night, huh? For two nights? For a week? What do you say? What's eating you? Oh, bugs, I guess. Same old bugs. Father would have a royal fit if we didn't show up. You know we've got to go. Oh, hang the meeting. Suppose we don't go. What difference is it going to make? Your father will do all the talking anyway. We'll sit there with our heads on a hinge. Yes, J.L. Of course, J.L., that seems fair, J.L. I got a crony pain in my neck, Margaret, from just nodding. Don't be a fool, Dan Brooks. Say, I'll tell you what, let's stand in front of the house and throw rocks at the meeting, will you? <laughs> You do think of the cutest things. Oh, well, Margaret, let's do something. I don't care what it is. Why don't you get zippered from these things, Margaret? You know, someday you'll be calling the meetings. You wouldn't like it if the others threw rocks. Well, they'd be saps if they didn't. There. Thank you. Now, hurry up. We're going to be late. What are we going to do about the moon? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Shoot! Hey, Margaret. Good heavens. Yeah, I know. I'm a pest. I know that, but... We'll never get there. Say, Margaret, I want to talk to you seriously. Suppose I should tell you that I'm miserable here. That I'm dying a slow death. Would you go away with me? Where to? Oh, I don't care anywhere. Somewhere where I can make my own living. Where I can do the things that I want to do. Back to the racing business, I suppose. Well, I'm not interested in making paper boxes. You ought to know that by now. Do you really want me to give up all this, Dan? Seriously? Well, certainly. Why not? Live in cheap boarding houses. Not know where my next meal's coming from. Wait for miracles to happen. Well, it's better than this, isn't it? Doesn't it bother you that your husband's a parasite? I dare. Oh, sure, that's all I am. No use kidding myself. I'm only holding on to my job because I'm married to you. Oh, but that's ridiculous. Father thinks you're terribly clever. That's why all the others are so jealous of you. But he has great plans for you, and someday we... Oh, yes, I know. I'm the crown prince. Johnson, good evening. Good evening, sir. This is the J.L. is in the study. Good evening, J.L. Evening. Father. Good evening, Father. Now, don't scold. I'm on time. J.L.'s in the study. You may not be the smartest, Arthur, but you're the best looking. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Father. J.L. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Bruce. Good evening, Mrs. Bruce. J.L. is in the study. Yes, sir. Good evening. Hello, Mr. Good evening. Hi, Good evening. Hello, darling. Hello, Dan. Hello, Francis. We're late. Oh, yes, I know, J.L. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I'll tell you how it was. We'll get uh, started. Uh, would you like to know how it was? I know. You and Broadway Bill probably would sure. talk it over. Sure. Say, do you think I'll be thrown into the Bastille? You're lucky if you're not beheaded. Say, look here. You know, before I go to the chopping block, do you think you could uh, dig up a slug of whiskey for a very nervous guy? A slug of whiskey? Yeah. In this house? Well, isn't anything ever changed around this mausoleum? Yes. Bedspreads and underwear. Well, that's something. <laughs> <clears throat> Read. 
Regarding the Acme Lumber Company, we bought it today. Oh, oh, fine, oh, yeah. Yeah. And exactly five minutes after ten this morning, it became the Higgins Lumber Company. I trust that meets with your approval. Conversation, oh, yeah. yeah. sir. Yeah. I trust it meets with your approval. Naturally, J.L. Naturally. For the present, it has no active head. It shall remain so until the one vacant chair at this table becomes suitably occupied. If you're referring to me, Father, you're wasting your time. What's that? You might as well forget it, because the man I marry won't care for the lumber business. <laughs> Don't be impudent, Alice. I'm sorry. There will be no further discussion of business until after we have finished dinner. I'm happy to say that all the Higgins Enterprises are doing excellently. That is all except the Higgins Paper Box Company. I'm sorry to report that sales have dropped off to a dangerous extent. I have the figures here in front of me. For instance, the first three months of the fiscal year ending March 31st, style number four, all colors, dropped off 14%. The Higgins Special, a box that we've manufactured for 20-odd years, a box with which we have become nationally identified, 22%. What the Higgins Paper Box Company needs, Mr. Brooks, is a little more application on the part of its management. You can't expect a business to flourish when the head of that business is off gallivanting with a ridiculous horse. What's your point, J.L.? Point? Yes. Huh. Well, my point is quite obvious. Mr. Brooks, you came to this town three years ago, penniless. A man with a questionable background. Some sort of association with the racetrack business, I believe. I was broad-minded enough to overlook that. You and Margaret were in love. You wanted to get married. I gave my approval. I put you at the head of the Higgins Paper Box Company, one of the largest and most successful of the Higgins Enterprises. You accepted that responsibility with enthusiasm. I might even say, <clears throat> with gratitude. You were the envy of Mr. Early and Mr. Winslow. Your first two years were successful, but this past year, the Higgins Paper Box Company has suffered immeasurably. Now, I can attribute it to only one cause, neglect, shameful neglect. Beginning tomorrow morning, Mr. Brooks, I shall expect you to devote yourself exclusively to your business, and I must ask you to get rid of that horse. See that it's done. Now, regarding the purchase of the Acme Lumber Company, I've had their books gone over thoroughly. Cash on hand and in banks, $13,672.86. Accounts receivable, $32,842.33. Wait a minute, Mr. Higgins. I have no intention of selling my horse. As a matter of fact, I'm leaving Higginsville in the morning. Quiet! Everything you say is true. I have neglected the business. The reason is simple. I've, I've hated it. I've always hated it. Oh, not that it isn't a good business, mind you. It's all right for you and Mr. Winslow and Mr. Early. I don't blame them for wanting it. They're suited to it. I'm not. Boy, I know I sound crazy to you. Maybe I am, but somehow you strike me the same way. Everything here seems lopsided to me. Higginsville, the Higgins family, the Higgins Enterprises. Oh, don't get offended. It's just we don't speak the same language, that's all. You're interested in only one thing, accumulating money, expanding the Higgins Enterprises, gobbling up all the little fellas. Look, you've just snatched the Acme Lumber Company away from some poor people that spent their lives building it up. I hope it made you happy. Be careful what Look you say, you. young man. Look at you. You haven't taken a vacation in 40 years. You're just rotting away in your own little kingdom. Well, if that's your idea of how to live, you can have it. It isn't mine, and I'm sure it isn't Margaret's. And another thing, I wouldn't get rid of that horse for you or anybody else. Someday you're going to take off your hat to Broadway, Bill. It's true. I was broke when I came here, but Margaret and I are leaving the same way. We don't want a thing out of Higginsville. If it's just the same to you, you can accept my resignation. I'll wait for you in the car, Margaret. If you're going to wait for me, you needn't bother. Meeting is adjourned.
certainly I applauded. Why shouldn't I applaud? He should have gone a long time ago. What sort of talk is this? Danny, dear, your little monarchy is fast folding up. Your crown prince has flown. Alice, stop this nonsense. <laughs> Oh, you're a strong and powerful ruler, almighty king. But you're not going to crush him under your heels any longer. What's the matter with you? You seem very happy at his going. Happy? I'm so happy I could shriek. I could go out on rooftops and shriek till I collapse. That's how happy I am. I used to pray for him every night. I hope he never comes back. I hope he never sets foot in Higginsville again. Think you're going. Oh, hello, Mike. Stop it, please. Will you hop it? Now look here, you blighters. I'm not gonna bring Gallant Lady out before a rebel like this. She's not used to it. She's too nervous. Come on, get, get off the platform, will you? Now you heard what the man said. Get back, will you? Get back. Officer, discharge your duty. Don't give me any of cuff, you foreigner. Okay, Mr. Whitehall. All right, all clear. Yeah. Good. All right, get her out of here. Bring that pony out. out first. All right, bring her out. Keep her head down. Watch your feet and look at her hips. Gee, that's a beautiful animal. Mister, there's the horse that's going to win the derby. Help out, Ed. Hello, 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 Mr. Morgan. Dan Brooks, don't you remember me? Yes, all right. Fine, thank you. Say, uh, who are you betting on? Why, gallant lady, of course. Yeah? Don't put your money down yet. I may have some news for you. Hey, I thought we were betting on sun up. Now, why don't you broadcast it? Don't be a sucker, Dan. You haven't a chance to win the Derby, not with that horse. Why don't you run him in some small races first? Ah, nothing doing. I'm coming back in style. Say, right now, nobody knows a thing about Broadwayville. If he cops that Derby, oh boy, oh boy. You don't honestly believe that nag of yours can beat Gallant Lady, do you? Why not? In his first race? Say, I know what I can do. Come on, come on. How much is the entry fee? Okay, I give up. You must have wrapped up all that horse sense of yours in those paper boxes. It's $500. 500 to... Yes, it's a $25,000 race. Oh, sure. It's, it's, it's cheap enough. You want to make out the check now, Dan? No? Well, you can wait if you like. You have until the day before the race. That's nearly two weeks. Yeah, you see, I'm having some funds transferred. I thought maybe if you could well, let sure, me... Dan, sure. But you've got to nominate him before 6 o'clock. This is the last day. Oh, I do. Uh, how much to nominate him? $50. 50 huh? Uh-huh. Say, excuse me just a minute. I'll be right back. Sure, Dan, sure. Mr. Collins. Oh, wait. How much, how much money you got? Money? Yeah, money, money. Come on, oh, bring it Mr. up. Mr. Brooks, you sure didn't come to the wrong place. 
Uh, all I got is this one sad, lonesome bug. No, look here. I'm shy five bucks. Come on, bring it out for me, will you? Five dollars? Yeah. yeah Mr. Come Brooks, you, you sure get some of the craziest notions any man I ever did see. <laughs> see that? What I tell you. You know, if there's any money in that boot, I sure be surprised. Bless my soul. Yeah, that's what I say. Say, boo, you is my pocketbook no more. There's your seat, Dan. Oh, thanks. Say, how about a stable? Dan, I'm awfully sorry, but I only had one stable left, and I just gave it to Gallant Lady. Whitehall insisted on having the whole place to himself. He said he'd take uh, Gallant Lady out of the oh, race. Oh, sure, and... sure. You couldn't afford to do that. No, without Gallant Lady, you wouldn't have an attraction. I know that. And that's it. Well, uh, tell you what you do, Dan. You go over and see Pop Jones. He hangs out around the feed warehouse over there. He's got an old barn you can use. Well, that's OK. Thanks. I'm awfully sorry. Oh, no, Dan. no, it's all right. Gee, Broadway Bill's not fussy. He's been brought up in the barn all his life. Thanks, Mr. Carl. Good luck to you, Dan. Yeah, thank you. There we go. What about Eatman's? When I get hungry, I get hungry. That's simple, Wally. When you're hungry, you eat. I don't want to go without food. It's bad for your stomach. I ain't doing my stomach no good. <laughs> what on the way you gonna get the money to buy it with? Well, guess we'll have to rely on the old man with the whiskers. Who that? That's the American man, Whitey. Anytime the old man with the whiskers puts his arm around your shoulder, your troubles are over. That's a good man to meet up with. Yeah, not bad. Looks all right, I guess. You've had some pretty fine horses stay here. You have, huh? huh? Well, say, who's the feed man around here? Eh? Hey? Uh, the feed, the feed man, feed. Feed man? Yeah. Right here. Oh, you, huh? Gee, that's well. Look, Papa, I want a supply of stuff sent in. Some oats and some bran, some barley, some carrots, uh, oh, and some salt. About, about 10 pounds of salt. Is this for cash or credit? What do you mean, cash or credit? What's the matter? Don't, don't you trust me? Yeah, but I don't know you. Oh, well, I mean... then, stop asking foolish questions. I settle all my bills at the end of the week. Yes, yeah, but I... Oh, cash. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, another thing. Uh, bring in a couple of cots, Pop. Eh? A couple of cots. Cots? Cots. Something to sleep on, you know? You gonna sleep here? Why, certainly. You don't think... Listen, Pop, maybe you don't know it, but there's the horse that's gonna win the derby. You think I'm gonna let him stay here by himself? Ah, behave yourself, see? And I'll show you how you can clean up a bankroll. That horse is a sleeper. He's a what? He's a sleeper. A sleeper. Oh, you want a cot for the horse, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hear Papa? <laughs> Papa, you're quite a kidder, yes, yeah. Come on, hurry up. Snap into it. Feeding the time. Get that stuff in, will you? And uh, say, Whitey, yes. we got to get out at the bank and make that deposit. This is show. Papa, you still here. Hurry up. We got to get that feed in. It's feeding time. Hurry up. How was that? <laughs> huh? Oh, good. He felt like a log. He a little slow about doing it, though. Yeah, but you see his eyes? <laughs> Looks like the old man with the whiskers. Working already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Ooh, Mr. Brooks. Them clothes you got on show is elegant. <laughs> hey, well, Whitey, you think Colonel Pettigrew will be impressed? Colonel Pettigrew? Yeah. Who that? Ah, uh, there's a gentleman, Whitey. A man with great understanding, a man with a soul. A man you can borrow money from, uh, if he has it. Borrow? Yeah. I go borrow money, I generally wear my old clothes, my old run-down shoes and things. You sure has got funny ideas. Well, that's the secret of the racetrack, Whitey. Never look down on the mouth, no matter how hungry you are. Well, you sure has got the secret. And if he's got the money, you'll get it. <laughs> All he's got to do is look at them clothes. Massa Colonel Pettigrew. Yeah, come, I hope she's got 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Pettigrew? Yes? Take those feet off my needlepoint chair. Yes, my love. <sighs> a fortune. A king's ransom. Just by investing the paltry sum of $50. Oh, stop dreaming. Where are you going to get $50? 
Sometimes you have a way of being very annoyed. You're not doing me any good with those telephone numbers you're popping. There you are. That's 5,000 you owe me. I'll play you double or nothing. No, no, you won't. I'm through. Last season, I had you up to $80,000. Well, I squared up with you, didn't I? Sure you did. For a buck and a quarter. I oh, know, but that was cash. Happy, come here and look these figures over and see if you can find a flaw in them. I read my fairy tales at night. This will cease to be a fairy tale when I get the 50. You can get the 50 if you'll go to work. I'll have it this afternoon without working. Yeah, where are you going to get it? From Vinegar Puss? Colonel Pettigrew? Yes, my love. I'm going to get it from the finest gentleman that ever raced a horse, Dan Brooks, a very dear friend of mine. Anybody that had $50 wouldn't be a friend of yours. Is that so? Well, Dan Brooks has got a thousand times 50, and he's never turned me down yet. And what's more, we're going to be his guests at lunch today. He is going to buy us lunch? At the Ritz Hotel. Well, 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 if it is my old and trusted friend. That's it, Colonel. That's it. <laughs> I, I want you to meet my business associate, Oscar McGuire, laughingly known as Happy. And this is Dan Brooks. How do you do, Mr. McGuire? All right. That's it. Come on, let's all sit down. Well, Colonel, it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> ah, food. I'm a starving man. Bring me the whole lunch. All right. I'll take the same place. And the uh, same for you, sir? Well, I didn't come here to make a speech. Very good, sir. <laughs> well, Colonel, you old rascal. I hear you're rolling in wealth, huh? Oh, just so so, just yeah. so so. <laughs> you mustn't believe all the stories you hear. I know. I was talking to some of the boys. They were telling me. You that. know how they are. Prone to exaggerate. <laughs> Say, how about you? Oh, just holding my own, that's all. Come now, don't be modest. <laughs> Racing horses again, aren't you? Just keeping my hand in, that's all. That's what I always said about you, Dan. <laughs> I always said, Dan Brooks, that lad will come through. How long does this go on? <laughs> Don't mind him, Friday the 13th. <laughs> and another three. And uh, one more three. I'm glad to run into you, Dan. See, I got a proposition that figures to clean up $160,000. I'm going to let you in on it. Oh, that's all. Yes, sir, just for old time's sake. That's mighty nice of you, Colonel. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's going to need a little uh, financing, though. Uh, I need what? Dan, with a start of $50, I got a parley. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let me get this straight. Uh, you're not by any chance trying to borrow $50 from me, are you? Oh, not borrow exactly. No, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Look here. I came here to borrow $500 off you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't tell me you're broke, Dan. <laughs> yes, I am. Stony. <laughs> and you came here? Yeah. And I came yeah. here? <laughs> well, that's the funniest. <laughs> enough to pay for the meal? No. How about you? No. No, no, no. Gentlemen, we're in a situation. Well, I haven't been thrown out of a first-class place like this in years. You finished, gentlemen? No. Oh, quite, quite, quite. Finished? Yeah. Uh, waiter. Uh, come here, come here. What? What the idea? I never in all my... I yeah, never come in this place. Excuse me, please. Never in life. Sorry, gentlemen. No, I will. You butterfingers. Oh, my God. Please, this is not my fault. We can explain that. We can explain that. Here they are, red hot. You're a good freighter, my friend. Uh, well, not exactly the size I wanted, but... What do you expect for a hamburger? A telegraph pole? Oh, I ain't kicking. <laughs> Ought to have a... a hat or... Give me a Coca-Cola for the hat. I don't like Coke, brother. Pipe for the time. Have the air for the time. Hey, look here. We had that dessert or hey, something. Hey, look those over. 
We may be in for dinner tonight. Spats, say. Eh? You should ought to see me in Spats. I wish you'd ought to see him as well. I'm a sight for sore eyes. I'll give you another hamburger for the Spats. Not now. Maybe tonight. Okay. Dinner tonight for the hat, Spats, and tie. How about it? All right. Right. Huh? It's a deal. We got a little business to talk over. Do you mind? Oh, sure. Say, so if, if, you, if you got anything that my wife can use... Bring her in. We'll it. cut her up. Graham! Smart guy, huh? Well, little Dan, what now? Raising $500 is no child's play. Well, you've been a great disappointment for me. It's a pity, too. From what you say, Broadway Bill must be a superb animal. Oh, he's a great horse. I can only get him in that race. Don't worry, my friend. It's as good as done. From now on, my time and wisdom are devoted to your welfare. I'm sorry for you. You know, I, I've got an idea. My ace in the hole, Edna. Edna? A 50 to one shot. You're gonna marry her first. Who's Edna? That's a vinegar puss landlady at the boarding house. Why should she expect to marry you? Confidentially, Dan, I encourage her. An economic necessity, you know. <laughs> I do. Well, that'll give you an idea of what I've been driven to. Driven to my eye. He'd rather make false love to that vinegar puss landlady than he went to go to work. Trouble is, he's got a landlady in every racetrack town in the country. It's kept me in food and lodging for years, and you too. What's her name, this uh, vinegar puss? Do you think she'd fall for a Ford truck? That's what I would call a perfect mating. Quiet! What's the idea, sir? Yeah, I'm not kidding, Happy. Look here. I got a Ford truck. I want to sell for $35. Well, what good is $35 when we need $500? Look, here's the idea. They're running a flock of small races tomorrow with $500 stakes. If we can win one, we're home. Broadway Bill could breeze in. All we need is $35 for expenses, 10 for a jockey, 25 for entry fee. An inspiration, Dan, is as good as in the bag. I'll make love as I never loved before. Vinegar Puss will own a Ford truck if I have to make the supreme sacrifice. Bravo, bravo. Come on, let's beat it. Honor to one shot. Well, it's worth five. Come on. Oh, is this it? Yes, dear. Sturdy and dependable. What is it supposed to be? Well, what does it look like? A lawnmower? Might as well be for all the use we're going to get out of it. Well, come on, beloved. Broadway Bill is in the second race. Allow me. Oh, darling. I didn't sleep a wink last night thinking of you. Huh? You make love so beautifully. That's only the beginning, Angel. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. Give him plenty of start. I can still hear him. trouble with Broadway Bill. Hold them. Turn him around there. Hold them. Back up there, Bill. Get him back in there. Lean him to him. Turn him around. Bring him in again. Guess he ain't ready yet, boss. Oh, sure he is. All right. A little nervous his first race. He'll outrun any of those names. Hold it, hold it. Don't let him break through. <laughs> Number five. Broadway Bill in this race. What do you want in the school list before he starts again? All right. Poor Dan. I wonder what he's going to do with Broadway Bill now. being sorry, hopes I understand. He still loves me, wishes I'd join him. Here it is. I think that was about all. The rest of it's all about a rooster or something. Skeeter? What do you call him? Skeeter. I gave him that name. Oh. 
Well, Broadway Bill won't run without him or some such ridiculous thing. Three pages devoted to a rooster and one to me. That's a perfect division. Well, did you send Skeeter to him? Of course not. But he said Broadway Bill needs him. Oh, don't be silly. He'll be back soon. Maybe this crazy trip is what he needed. He had to get it off his chest. Margaret. Margaret, I, uh, uh, please don't mind if I talk to you about this. I know it's presuming of me to give you advice, but, but please don't do it. Do what? Don't give him up. I haven't given him up. I know, but you're thinking about it already. Why don't you go down there and stay with him? You'll go a long way before you'll find anyone as fine as... What are you getting so excited about? Well, he loves you. Doesn't that mean anything to you? If Dan loves me, he'll come back. Kind of homesick, aren't you, pal? I don't think he's going to perk up either till that rooster come. Think she's going to send him? I don't know. She hasn't even answered my letter. get that way sometimes. They get stuck on a mascot, go completely dead or something happens. That Prince is your lifesaver, you know? <laughs> Come on, Mark. Come on, take a walk, huh? Go on, Bill. Yeah. Let me see you strut. Come on, let it. Let Say, come on, sit down, tell me all about it. How's Margaret? Margaret? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's all right. She's coming down, isn't she? I'm afraid not. She wanted to come, but Matilda decided to get the grip. You know Matilda, always sick at the wrong time. Oh, that's too bad. Look, you didn't have to come. You could have shipped Skeeter. Well, uh, Margaret asked me to come. She did? Oh, gee, that's swell. She's a bitch. Say, give her a big kiss for me when you get back, huh? Well, I would, but I'm not going back. You what? Come on, come on. No shenanigans. You're taking the next train back to Higginsville. Come on. Yes, says yes, you. Yes, come to says him. Wait a minute. How much money you got here? I need 25 bucks to enter Bill in the race tomorrow. Well, I'll leave you some. That's me, big hearted Dan, you know? <laughs> Say, this is not Higgins money, is it? No, it's not. You're own. sure? Well, I can't take Higgins money. Come on, that's all. Beat it. Come on. No, I'm staying here until the race is over. Say, you're crazy. You can't hang around a racetrack town like this. Come on. Oh, don't be so patronizing. You'll give me a pain. Well, what'll the Emperor think? Oh, hang the Emperor. Well, another revolutionary. Huh? First, the Crown Prince Consort scrams, and then the little princess. Blow the poor Emperor. <laughs> hey. You're getting to be quite a little dish at that, you know that? <laughs> think I'll have any difficulty down here? Oh, I don't know. What do you think you're going to do? Oh, go out and get myself a rosy cheek peasant and get married. Oh, say, listen, don't do that yet, Princess. Save yourself for me. I'll tell you what. When Margaret throws me to the shark, you and I will hit the road together. Huh? Just a couple of tramps, huh? It's a nice idea. If my peasant doesn't object. Oh, you got them all picked out, huh? <laughs> Who is he, that guy back home? No! Come on, come on, tell me, who is he? Tell Papa. Oh, don't be so smart. He's perfect. He's 11 feet tall, hasn't any ears, and eats little babies. Hey, Francis. Hey! Francis, look here, look here. You ought to know me well enough to take a little kitty. Oh, you mustn't pay any attention to what I say about your peasant. <laughs> you can marry anybody you like. I ought to give you a good sock and a job for taking me so seriously, you know? Say, we're going to give Bill a workout. I want you to stick around and see it, will you? Hold that. Hold that. Hold. Hold. Hold that. Hold. Turn around there and put him number six, 
Now, bring him back in the morning. If the act's all right, we'll take him off to school and All right. Thanks. See the difference that rooster makes? Why don't you slap the saddle on the rooster? He might have a better chance. Peace enough, peace enough. Oh, oh. Oh, Dad. Oh. Oh. Put him in number eight. Oh, Dad. Hey, Jim. Don't stop him this time. Take him all the way around. I want to clock him. Back him up a little. Oh. Hold it. Come on! Bring him back again in the morning. Thanks. Oh, oh. What are you doing? What that clock say, boss? One thirty-seven. Whitey, go get him. Bring him in. Cool him up, will you? <laughs> yes. Look out. Here comes the spy from the Confederate Army. What do you want, Matter Harry? Hello there, Pop. How are you? Sam, glad you dropped around. We just clocked him. How about that feed bill? You know what he made it in? I don't give a hang. I want that feed bill paid. Feed bill? You're not going to worry about a little thing like that now, are you? All I've been getting from you is promises. Whenever I make a promise, Pop, I always fulfill it. I can't pay my bills with promises, mister. And if I don't get my money, I'm going to the law. Well, well, here, Colonel Pettigrew will guarantee all my bills. Is that right, Colonel? Of course, of course. What's all the quibbling about? Of course I guarantee it. Uh, how much is it? A thousand dollars? No, 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 don't pay it now. All Pop wants is for you to guarantee it. That's all. Is that right? I don't know this man. He's a stranger to me. What? You don't know Colonel Pettigrew? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Look, Colonel's one of the biggest men in this I don't care who he is. I want my money. Look, Pop, I said I'd let you in on a good thing, didn't I? All right. Do you know what Broadway Bill just made the mile in? 137. Huh? He made the mile in 137. Wait a minute. What's the idea of telling him that? Well, hey? what? Why, I, I thought this was going to be on the QT. I have a jolly good mind to withdraw my $25,000. Oh, don't get excited now. I didn't wife. invest $25,000 to have you slip the information to a penny ante feed man. Why, he's not that Pop Jones, a friend of mine. I don't care if he's your half-wit brother. He can be trusted, I tell you. You can trust a mug with a puss like that. I won't. I'm through. Oh, please, Mr. Let McCoy. him go. Let him go. Oh. I, uh, I'll take his share. Oh, no, no. You've got $50,000 in the proposition already, Colonel. A trifle. Your horse is good enough for me. Come along. I'll write your check. <clears throat> Hope I haven't caused you any trouble, Mr. Brooks. Trouble? If you know what's good for you, you leave Dan Brooks alone. This is a girl's seminary. If you want to hang around here, you better put on some pants. Huh. What do you think of these? Hey, where'd you get those? Oh, huh? you're bad. Say, that's my only pair of dungarees. Come on now, take them off. Come on, take these off. Why, Mr. Brooks, please. Ah, oh. uh, you little mug, you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you look kind of cute in those. I guess you know that, don't you? Sure. Ravishing. Sailors swoon at the sight of them. Uh-huh. You're grown up, too. <laughs> Say, first thing you know, some guy's gonna come along and cop you off. That pleasant guy, maybe. Huh? Oh, so yeah, Bill Taylor. What about Bill Taylor? Mr. What? Calvin, what about I Bill have, Taylor? I have huh? work to do. When did you eat last? Huh? Why do you say you forget to eat? Oh, he's crazy. I have plenty to eat. Well, you can't win races if you don't eat. I'm not running. Where'd you get these? Oh, just a few supplies I put in. Oh, boy, oh, boy, Francis. Oh, Francis. You're a little <laughs> angel from heaven. Oh. Looks like I married the wrong woman. Say, hey, which one of these will we open tonight? Which one will we open? Oh, uh, the split pea soup and the succotash. Split pea soup and a succotash. Split pea soup and a succotash. Oh, the split pea soup and the succotash. Had a fight once upon a time, a 
Says the split pea soup to the sucker hash. Without corn, you just be lima. I'll tell you, dear teacher. I'm happy because the old man with the whiskers has got his arms around my shoulder. I'm happy because we entered Broadway Bill in a $500 race tomorrow with the money you forced on me. Oh. And I'm happy because we're going to win it. And that means that our troubles are over. Oh, oh gosh darn, said the Sackadash. You're not such a much yourself, for you. You're not such a much yourself, self -a. Hey, what rhymes with self -a? Molasses. Oh, boy. I ought to let you have it, you know that? <laughs> you do want to win that race, don't you? You'll never know how much, Princess. You will. I'm sure of it. I've got my fingers crossed. Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> oh, I've got to, gee. i got to get the money to do things. Buy more horses and train them right. I don't know, I may, I may even go in for breeding. Sounds wonderful. Take my word for it, Princess. I'm going to have the finest collection of thoroughbreds in the country. Gee, it's starting to rain. Bradshaw, put Bradshaw on. Yes, Mr. Waddell? Hello, Bradshaw. How's Gallant Lady? It's beginning to rain pretty hard. Make sure that all the windows are shut. Don't let any drafts come in. We don't want her catching any colds. And watch that thermostat. Don't let it vary more than two degrees. Weather like this, she's liable to catch pneumonia. Oh, she won't catch pneumonia. She's as snug as a bug in a rug. Right -o. I'll up to it. Down your blood, just check all those windows. Go on, up to it, up to it. You better go and wash up. Then I'll be ready in a minute. Boss, the rain's coming in. Margaret just wants to be shown, that's all. It's up to me, I guess. Well, Boss, I can the rain's get coming in. in. What? The roof is leaking. The roof's leaking? Yeah, yeah. Holy smoke. That's funny, it was clear a minute ago. What about that thing, Whitey? <laughs> Oh, Bill. What? Hey, Whitey! Come on, get up there and stuff that up. It's yeah. taking all over, Bill. All right, all right. Say, don't be too long. Dinner's ready. Hey, Whitey, there's another one there. Right over to your left. Stuff that one up. Yeah. Hurry up. through both flanks. Come on, they're no good. We have to take them off. Soft, 
cheer up, gallant lady. The storm will soon be over. <laughs> Dry rag. Oh, poor darling. You're going to miss the fire It's getting cold in here. What time is it? Four o'clock. Well, you better get some sleep. I'm wide awake. Go to bed, I tell you. You'll be a wreck tomorrow. Whitey. Yes, come here, take care of it. You're going to bed. Come on. Yes, Have a light, come on. Come on, come on, stop arguing. Get off that white coat. Sit down there. You shouldn't be here in the first place. You ought to be in your hotel where you are. Lie down. Thanks, Dan. You're a sweet kid, Princess. Dan. Huh? Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Sure. Yeah. Sick animal. Bad, huh? Yeah. Running a high fever. Needs a lot of care and rest. You look so pathetic. For that call, it may be some time before that horse runs. Now, you send the boy with me and I'll send you back to medicine. Say, but Doc, what about Saturday? See, he's got to run Saturday. That's the day of the big race I got him entered. Saturday? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Animals are very funny. Sometimes they snap out of it like that, and sometimes they... Well, don't take him out till his fever disappears. And even then, I... I wouldn't work him too hard. Give his heart a chance. Rest him up to the last minute. Come on, boy. I know, I know, but it's Alice I'm worried about. What did she go down there for? Oh, she took him down a pet rooster or something. Rooster? Sounds insane. I don't like it. That's no place for her. A little imp. I sent her a telegram this morning ordering her to come home. And she replies, having too good a time back after races. Now, we've got to get her back, and at once. Oh, don't bother your head about her. She'll be back. And so will Dan. Yes? Well, what makes you think so? That's really why I came to see you, Father. I know the others have been talking to you about managing the paper box factory. Now, would you please leave the others out of this? Well, they've got ideas, Father. They forget that I'm the eldest daughter. Well, I can't keep his job open indefinitely. You owe it to me to keep it open till he gets back. It was your fault that he left. My fault that the man doesn't like paper boxes? You thought you could order him around the way you do Mary's husband or Matilda's. Oh, it's interesting, very interesting. You may not know it, but people are laughing at me. They're saying that I had a horse for a rival, and the horse won out. Well, I've got to stop that kind of flattery. So, you think he's coming back, eh? I know he is. You better not be so cocksure. If I were you, I'd go down there with him. Well, that's a funny attitude for you to take. And he's your husband, isn't he? He's my husband when he's right here at home.
You're not going to let Dan down now, are you? You're not going to let a little cold stop you. Come on. Come on, don't be a sissy. Get up. Come on, get up. Come on, boy. Come on, get up. Come on. Come on, try a little more. In. said not to run until Saturday. That means we've got to dig up $500 from someplace else. Are you with me? To the bitter end, my friend. I'm entirely at your disposal. Well, the only suggestion I have is we all go out and work for it. Wait a minute, Dan. Now, let's not go too far. Oh, wait. We've all got brains. Plenty of place to make money around a racetrack town. I'll help. No, no, not you, Francis. This is a man's job. How about you, Colonel? Well, if I must, I must. All right. Go dig up Happy, will you? The shop will probably kill him. Say, have you got any ideas, Whitey? Oh, yes, a handful of them. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Look, Francis, stay here and take care of Bill, will you? Come on, we gotta dig up that 500. Right at the captain's house. Come on, guys. Ten is the point. Now, they can't give a fight. Stop it, stay here. Now, don't stop it. Ah! Wait a minute. Loaded. Loaded. Double cross, are you? That's the name? Uh, Smith. Mary Smith? Yes. And the coat, too? Uh, uh, no, not yet. Well, I can give you something for these. Okay, I'm all ready. Come on, pick your sucker. Yes, sir. Pick them and suck them. That's our motto. I can't believe it yet. Remember, all we get goes to Broadway Bill. There he is, our first victim, and dripping with innocence. Perfect. Okay, go to work. Pick them and suck them. Pick them and suck them. I beg your pardon, but uh, may I borrow your pencil just for a moment? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, you own horses? Oh, yes. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel, I, I've been looking all over the place for you. The big boss says that you can scratch your horse for the next race. Scratch my horse? Yeah. What do you mean, scratch my horse? The race is in the bag. It's all set for... Oh. Oh, got him all set to win, eh? Yeah, said not to tell anybody but you. Thank you, son. Thank you, my good man. I, I say, partner, couldn't you let a fellow in on it? On what? Uh, the name of the horse, the one that got all set to win. Oh, that? No, 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 I couldn't do that. I've had awful bad luck. I haven't won a race today. Sorry, my friend, but these things are confidential. If too many people bet, it brings the odds down. But look, I, I promise not to bet much. Just enough to kind of get even. Sorry, stranger. Sorry. I, uh, I didn't want the colonel to see me. How would you like to have the name of that horse? How would I like it? Say, listen. All right. Cost you $25. $25? Okay. Forget it. Oh, wait a minute. 
I'm taking a chance of losing my job, ain't I? It's an awful lot of money, but... Make it snappy. Uh, Somebody uh, might see it. Sure. There you are. There's your money. Twenty-five dollars. Now then, tell me. What's... What's the name of the horse? Doughboy. Doughboy! Don't be spreading it all over the joint. <laughs> no, no. Doughboy. 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 I just got the dope right from the stable. Doughboy. A sure thing. Doughboy. 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 Well, I knocked him off for 25 smackers. Excellent. Uh, what horse did you give him? Doughboy. Doughboy! What a pity. Doughboy hasn't the ghost of a chance. Doughboy, put all you know you got on Doughboy. Yeah, you can't lose. I got the news right from the horse. Friend of mine. Doughboy. Doughboy, honey. The whole lot of money. I will be glad to see you. Doughboy. Angry. Angry. Here, here. $150 on Doughboy and Dough. All the money I got in the world. Here, wait. Half a bottle of Coke. Half a bottle of Coke. Give me $10 on the way. $150. Go, boy. Bet all the money you got on go, boy. I talked to the man. He can't lose. Hey, hey. Wait till I tell my wife about this. I beg your pardon, but Say, a... you want to make some money? Put all you've got on go, boy. Thank you, son. Thank you. Pick him up, Flacker. Pick him up, Flacker. Flacker. Madam, allow me. <clears throat> you know, madam, you remind me so much of my mother. Uh, just for that, I'll give you a tip on Doughboy. Doughboy. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Say, Colonel, I just got the load down on the next race. Doughboy. Ten on, Doughboy to win. Ten on, Doughboy to win. Take it down from Doughboy to win. I just gave him a stable. Get down on it. Doughboy. Doughboy, cross the board. Five each. My money's on Doughboy. They're at the Doughboy to win. Doughboy to win. Well, I think. All right, 30 to 5. 25. 25. 25 on Doughboy to win. Uh oh. Well, that's what you get for trying to cheat. Well, I don't cheat, Miss Allen, except when I have to. This was for Broadway Bill in there. A noble cause, I see. Well, you won't have to do it anymore. Listen, Whitey. I've got $120 here. Now, you won this shooting dice. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, if you tell Mr. Brooks where you got it, I'll break your neck. Well, I won't tell him. I'll have some more tomorrow and the next day. 460, 465, 470, 475, 480, 485, 490, 495, 500. You reekers! And an extra 10 to celebrate. <laughs> to you reekers! Well, for most of this, we owe Whitey a standing vote of thanks. Hooray! Hey! <laughs> Whitey, whose deafness saved us from defeat. Hey! Hey! Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Take thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, Colonel, your contribution wasn't much, but your story about Doughboy was so touching, we forgive you. <laughs> First time I ever saw a guy sucked in by his own gang. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just a child of impulse. <laughs> Princess, to you for your moral support. A kiss, huh? Thank you, kind sir. All right, come on. Let... Where's your coat? Oh, uh... It was too warm, so I left it at the hotel. Oh, all right. You ready? Do we visit the beer garden? I'll say we do. Then I'm ready. <laughs> but first to the secretary's office to deposit the gold, and then to the beer garden. Away! Away! Come on! <laughs> How do you do? Yeah, no ladies allowed in here. She's not a lady. She's a princess. A princess? Yes, her father's an emperor. It's all right. <laughs> well, well, the winner of the derby arrives with the emperor. Well, that's fine. Come right in. Nice. Come on, let's all go in. Oh, 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 oh the big, big soup and it's not
Princess. Hello. <laughs> Oh, the split pea soup and the second ice. Well, I love one spring and summer. Yeah. Till the split pea soup caught the second ice on the best of a hardware drummer. Must you do that? No, no. Really? Second, I strike a suit on his back like a donkey. Ha ha! There's a go. What's the matter? You're staggering, Percy. Can't you walk, sir? Where's Bill? Mr. Jones, the feed man, he come here with the sheriff. He had attachment papers or something. What do you mean, attachment papers? He just walked right in and took him. Well, why'd you stop him? He had the papers. And the shame the way they jerked him around. They had a rope around his neck. Oh and it tied him to an automobile. They tied him over They're cobblestones kill him. and why everything. You should have stopped him. I chased him for a half a mile, but I couldn't keep up with him. Which way did they go? Which way did they go? I don't know, Mr. Brooks. All right, I'll have him. Sarah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Search me. Someone attached his horse and he's gone crazy. The girl here has been howling all night for you. Hello, oh, hello, Precious. Yeah, I'm glad to see you. Oh, that's well. I'll be back in a few minutes. But maybe you'd like some coffee? Oh, boy, can I use this. I tried all night, and they wouldn't let me in. Dan, isn't there anything we can do? No. We're sunk. I wired Father for some... You what? Well, don't be angry. It didn't make any difference anyway. He said you wanted to make good on your own, and that this was your chance. Yeah, and he's right, too. <laughs> Gee. I bet the bunch back there are getting a great laugh out of this. Well, don't give up yet. Well, there's nothing more we can do. No, it's just not in the cards, I guess. So oh, I can only get out of here. Maybe I could... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm afraid we didn't wish hard enough, Princess. Old man with the whiskers didn't hear us. Cute hat, Bridget Kennedy. Well, what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? Oh, make paper boxes back in Higginsville, I guess. Margaret will like that. No, Dan, don't do that. You'll never forgive yourself. Oh, no, I owe her that much. I promised her I'd come back. Well, I'm no howling success here. I might as well go back to paperbacks. Well, it isn't too late. Something might happen. No, this is just not the day for miracles, that's all. What's the matter, operator? I want to get Pittsburgh. Oh, if Detroit yeah. can't handle any more, okay. What's the price? Okay, 2000 on son of Hello, honey. I want to get Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Buffalo, like on a nickel. Denver, 2200. Frisco, 1800. New Orleans, 3000. Dallas, 12. New York, What's 9, the total? What's the total? Close to 40,000. Well, we haven't even started yet. What's the average? About 7 to 1. 7 to 1. Now, listen, Sully, I'm going to shoot the works in that horse of yours. I hope we're not pulling a boner. You're sure he's all right? Oh, son of, if it wasn't for Gallant oh, Lady... Oh, forget Gallant Lady. He's a cinch to beat all the others. Okay. All right, folks, get your best now, please. Don't get shut out. The big race of the day. The big race of the day, folks. We got Gallant Lady, a favorite, two to one. Son of four to one. Gallant Lady, 30 to 15 to win. Any bets on Broadway, Bill? Not one. They're laying off of that plug like poison. Ten dollars on Sun Up to win. Gonna make him 100 to one. We might pick up some sucker money. Okay. Make Broadway Bill 100 to one. Okay. All right, folks. Broadway Bill is 100 to one. 
a hundred to one shot. Mm -hmm. Broadway Bill, you old rascal. Where have you been all my life? Oh, shut up, will you? Here's where I give him a bookie heart failure. He's going to buy my Easter outfit and doesn't know it. Number four. That's for you, May. Oh, it would be. That guy in porn's going to drive me screwy. Why, May, you ought to be thrilled. J.P. Chase is one of the richest men in the world. Confound it, where is everybody? Nurse! Nurse! Well, well, what's all the excitement? Hey, where is that ridiculous doctor? I've got to get out uh -uh, of here. No, no, relax, relax. Oh, all this fuss on account of a broken ankle. Oh. Reading these cheap magazines is making a gibbering idiot out of me. <laughs> Forget it. Say, tell me something. How do you pass your time? Oh, I flirt with the angels. Yeah, you what? Bit on horses. Oh, you bit on the horses. Mm -hmm. Does that keep your mind occupied? Brother, it keeps my mind occupied, my blood boiling, my nerves frazzled, and my purse empty. Oh, well, that's silly. Why do you do it? Oh, because I'm an idiot. Like you. Yeah, why? You try to control empires, I bet on bang tails. Now, so long, old money bags, and keep your shirt on. Uh, say, uh, come here. Say, what horse are you betting on? Broadway Bill. Broadway Bill, huh? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it's a hundred to one shot. That's reason enough. Hundred to one? How much money you bet? Two smackers. T two what? Two smackers, dollars, the family fortune. Oh. All right, you can bet two smackers for me. <laughs> you? <laughs> Why not? It's better than reading this cheap trash. Give me something to think about. Say, how do we find out whether we've won? You watch the papers tomorrow. All right. All right. <laughs> Boy, this is funny. What's funny? You, J.P. Chase, the richest man in the world, betting two bucks on an egg. Yeah. Are you sure you can spare it? Say, go put those two bucks on that Buffalo Bill or whatever his <laughs> name is. <laughs> Hey, here's a hot one. J.P. Chase just bet two bucks on Broadway Bill. J.P. Chase, hey, that's funny. <laughs> hey, Bill, get this. J.P. Chase just bet two dollars on Broadway Bill. He did? Yeah, Broadway Bill. Here's the laugh for you, Daisy. J.P. Chase just bet two seeds on Broadway Bill. No, that's a scream. Who's Broadway Bill? It's a horse, you dummy. Hey, Betty, J.P. Chase just bet two seeds on Broadway Bill. That's a scream. J.P. Chase just bet two C's on Broadway Bill. Broadway Bill? See, I had a hunch on that plug. Listen to this, Joe. I just heard that J.P. Chase bet two C's on Broadway Bill. Broadway Bill? Hey, J.P. Chase just bet two G's on Broadway Bill. J.P. Chase? What do you know about that? Boy, that's good enough for me. Give me that phone. Yeah, 20,000 bucks. Can you imagine that? <laughs> J.P. Chase don't chunk it down like that unless he knows something. Must be hot. He bet 50,000 smackers. 100,000? You're kidding. Just got it from the inside. Two hundred grand. On Broadway, Bill? Cross my heart, he says something like a quarter of a million. Wow, well, a hundred to one shot, too. Cut me in and I'll give you a hot one. Broadway, Bill. Two bucks on Broadway, Bill, for me. I'll take two bucks worth of Broadway, Bill. Broadway, Bill, on the nose. I'm a friend of yours, ain't I? Broadway, Bill. Yes, it, younger. Broadway, Bill. Hey, Bill, don't you do it. Don't spread it around. Broadway, Bill, I've got a wire from Ed. Nobody knows about it yet. I'll pay you back Tuesday. I mean, we need it for the rent. I'll clean up like that and we'll get married. Can't miss. I'm to one. Broadway, Bill. A.V. Chase. Broadway, Bill. Broadway, Bill. Broadway, Bill. Two bucks on Broadway, Bill, on the nose. Two hundred dollars to throw on Broadway, Bill. Oh, my little bit on Broadway, Bill. Broadway, Bill, why don't we get into that? I got a hell back from my brother in Memphis. They say it's been on Broadway, Bill. I want to bet on Broadway Bill. Give me two dollars to win on Broadway Bill for me, two dollars for my brother, and two dollars for my wife. That's it, say. I got a telegram on him. You ought to get a bet on him yourself. He's going to win. Just got me to death. I thought it was my mother. I thought she was sick. Two dollars on Broadway Bill to win. Two hundred dollars. Hey! Broadway Bill, 60 to one. Wait a minute, Broadway Bill, 60 to one. Hey, Eddie. Yeah? Father wants to talk to you. Well, what? What's the matter? Why, of course we're going through with it. We're shooting the works on sunup. Who? <laughs> Broadway Bill hasn't got a chance. All I care what a bunch of yokels are doing. Let them put their heads off. And the more they do, the better I'm going to like it. Look what they're doing for us. They set the price on sunup from 4 to 1 up to 12 to 1. The day the race is liable to be 20 to 1. If it is, the whole bankroll goes. Huh? Now listen, there's only one horse that we have to worry about. That's Gallant Lady. And that's all taken care of. Yeah, I said it was all taken care of. Yeah, all right. Forget it and keep in touch with me. You guys make me sick. Let me have it, Harry. Eddie, what? Detroit wants to talk to you. Who? Detroit. Okay, give it to me. I make the bottom one eight and five. I'll tell you about it later. Okay, Detroit. Oh, I wish you guys would forget about Broadway, Bill. We're getting 12 to 1 instead of 4 to 1. What more do you want? 
Get hit with a horseshoe, and then you guys squawk your heads off. All right, forget it. Hey, boy. What? Tell me that. We got one less horse to beat. Broadway Bill's gonna be scratched. Right. What do you mean, scratched? Well, hey, I didn't make this up. I just heard it. Now, what happened? I thought I was bringing you some good news. All right, come on, what happened? I don't know. The guy that owns him got himself in a jam. He's in jail. Well, that In jail? Yeah. With Broadway Bill out of the race, the odds on Son of will go right back to four to one. Listen, I've got to get a hold of that guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Brooks, Dan Brooks. Brooks, Dan Brooks, that's right. He's got to put Broadway Bill back in the race. Now, you fellas, don't wait any best till I get back. A lot of luck, you kid. There he is in number three. Oh, hello, Mark. Hello, fella. I see you've changed your headquarters. Oh, I haven't ever got on the edge and start changing scenery to do my little guy. <laughs> What's the idea? Scratching a horse, I mean. Oh, well, it's a long story. <laughs> Critters get a little unreasonable nowadays, you Put know. Put me in an awful mess. I had a bunch of dough down that horse of yours. You did? Mm hmm Did you see him work out? Oh, sure, sure. Say, he's a great horse, isn't he? See, you know, nobody realizes... Why it, don't you tell a guy, whenever you're in a jam, you can always come to me. How much is he in heart for? Why, only 150, that's all? Well, don't keep a secret like that from a pal. Here you are. Oh, wait a minute. You're not the old man with the whiskers, are you? Huh? <laughs> that's all right. Never mind. Just give it a sec. If I don't know how to thank you for this, I'll pay you back. Oh, this is forget it. I'll be paid back plenty with that horse of yours breezes in. Say, and he will, too. You just watch him. Have you got a jockey? No, not yet. Well, I'll take care of that, too. How about Williams? Ted Williams? Can you get him? Can I get him? Williams will do anything I tell him to. Oh, he and I are just like that. Listen, you go down to the captain. Get him out of here right away. Pay his fine, put up a bond or whatever they want, but get him right oh, out. Oh, okay, Moran. There you are, you're off. Say, you better get out of here. I'm going to break down and weep right on your shoulder. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. Just between the two of us, I expect to clean up a gob of shekels. Oh, you will, and you'll deserve it, too. <laughs> well, so long. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. I'll send Ted Williams over to you in sure. the morning. Thanks ever so much, Mr. Morgan. Chicago, Broadway, Bill 10, sun up 12. 12, huh? Want to bet any? No, we'll wait. Hello, hello, Denver. New York, find out about New York. Broadway, Bill 8 to 1. What's sun up? What's sun up? 15, 15 to 1. Now you're talking, now we're getting someplace. When I guess to be 20 to 1, have them ring me back. That mob down there's going crazy. You know what Broadway Bill is at the track? Six to one. Well, what are you worrying about? Now listen, Eddie, there's a lot of dough going down on that horse. Where's it coming from? A plug like Broadway Bill isn't gonna play like that unless something's up. Somebody knows something, I tell you. Maybe it's the Greek. Maybe he's trying to pull a fast one. Ah, you're screwy. The Greek's in with us. Well, then where is it coming from? Well, use your brain. Maybe you'll find out. Did you ever try to figure it out? Every bet that's being placed on Broadway Bill is a two-buck bet. Two bucks. Does that sound like wise money to you? It starts out at 50 to 1. Meat for the sucker. Every barber, boot, black, and chambermaid scrambles to get aboard. The rumor gets started. The first thing you know, all the poor boobs are trying to hawk their undershirts. I've seen it happen a million times. It's sucker money. That's what it is. Sucker money. Well, I still don't like it. Maybe you'd be happier if you knew that Ted Williams was riding Broadway Bill. He is? Yeah, Williams on Broadway Bill and Roberts and Gallant Lady. Now, are you happy? Why didn't you say so? I spent the whole morning worrying for nothing. Well, you can make it up by being happy all afternoon. Sign up is 20 to 1 in Chicago. What I tell you? How much will I handle? How much will you handle? 15,000. Okay. New York, 20 to 1. How much can I handle? How much can he handle? About 20. Okay. Chicago, 15 grand. New York, 20 grand. Hey, Francis, come here, will you? Say, Whitey. Whitey, here he is. This is Ted Williams. The jockey, you know, friend of Eddie Morgan's. Yeah, hey, I... Say, got those bandages well. on? Say, here's that great fellow I've been telling you about. Have you got much pep, has he? Pep? <laughs> He's got plenty on the track where he needs it. Yeah? Well, how is he at the barrier? I heard he threw his last jock. Hey, barrier, no, he'll probably take the lead right off the jump, won't you, Bill? Don't hold him back at any time. No? No, 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 if you do that, no, gosh, no. It drives him crazy to be held back. And don't worry about his speed. He's got plenty of wind. Sounds like a great animal. Boy, we can't miss. Look here, you better go to the jockey room. Be dressed down plenty of time, will you? And get ready to take bows, because you're riding a winner. Yeah, sure. Oh, say, old man with the whiskers, I thank you. Francis, uh, Francis we're off. We can't lose. Nothing can stop it. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like dancing. <laughs> right. Well, go ahead. Oh, the split pea. Oh, I got her doing it. Yeah. Oh, but I love one spring and summer till the split pea to cut the tuck of hay on the best of Broadway drummer. You want the race run honestly, don't you? Naturally, but I don't like this implication that my now jockey... Now listen, is... Mr. Whitehall, we spend a fortune every year in maintaining a detective force. Why? To try and keep racing honest. If we can't have it that way, we'll close up the tracks. Yes, I know all about that. But what makes you think that my boy is involved? I had Morgan trailed, and I had his men trailed. I was determined to find out just what he had up his sleeve. I found out, Mr. Whitehall. It's your jockey, Roberts. Well, that's the works. How much have we got down? 101,000. Average 12 to 1. <laughs> Over a million bucks. It's the one we've been waiting for. And don't you worry, you fellas. I'll take care of you. Hey, boss. 
Did you hear what happened? Joey Roberts has been suspended. He ain't gonna ride Gallant Lady. How did you find that out? I saw it on the bulletin. They got Bobby North aboard. Somebody smelled a rat. This is a mess. Come on. I knew this was too good to be true. I got it. Fifty dollars to win on Gallon Lady. Horses are down in the paddock. How well you're gonna do your stuff today? I'll let a little thing like a fever bother you. Doc said you were all right this morning. You know what this race means to us, Bill? Saddle your horses. I'm only interested in one horse, son of number five. Beat him and you win this race. You're up against some tough customers. That jockey on Sun Up might try anything. Don't let him get away with it. Gallant lady must win this race. Yes, he won't get away with a thing. Now, there's only one horse you've got to beat. This gallant lady. But you've got to beat her. I don't care how. You've ridden lots of races and won. If you win this, it's a 5G bonus for you if you do. Use your head or anything else is necessary. But you've got to beat gallant lady, you understand? I get you. If anybody gets in front of you, or if you get pocketed, wise swing around on the outside. Now, don't worry about the loss of time. He'll make it up. There's just one thing you've got to remember. Uh, are you listening to me? Yeah, sure. Now, don't hold him back. i got to win this race, son. It means more to me than... Well, it may sound silly to you, but my whole future depends on it. See? I can't explain it to you, but... It, well, that's it. Good luck now. Good luck to you. Dog is up. Now remember, it's up to you. You're smart. You'll cop this race. Remember, it's up to you. Well, Bill, it's up to you now. You must be nervous. What are you shaking for? Who's shaking? Oh, it's a thrilling sight, friends. The grandstands are packed. The blood pressure is running high. Rumors are flying thick and fast. And the great question of the day is, who's going to win the derby? Until a few days ago, Gallant Lady, the Whitehall entry, was an outstanding favorite. Since then, for some mysterious reason, an unknown horse, Broadway Bill, has been receiving terrific support. Almost overnight, the odds went down from 100 to 1 to 6 to 1. But that's what makes horse racing, my friend. Is it true, Margaret, if he wins the race, he's not coming back? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> That's the boy, Skeeter. Come on, boy, let's go see a good race. Always change your mind, Colonel. Not with vinegar, Puss. She made him put it in writing. Oh, Just between us, Dan, it, it, it can't be done. I'm slightly married already. Yeah, who too? To another vinegar, Puss, in Antonia. In a moment of carelessness, Well, he had a I... sure thing that time, too, but the horse forgot what he came for. Well, I've got to get back to that Shylock. Well, so long, Colonel. Huh? Good luck. Don't Thank bank you. on it. You nag don't figure. The guy that puts his dough on him just naturally believes in fairies. Don't pay any attention to him. Good luck, guys. Thanks, Mister. Well, here we go. Gee, if Happy's right, I'll maybe on my way back to Higginsville in a little while. Oh, don't think about that. You'll win. Hey, here now. What's the matter with you, huh? What Nothing. Is... <laughs> Nothing. 
Good luck, darling. Shut up and sit down. Sit down, nothing. I'm going to watch them start. Wait for me, Nita. I wish I knew how this thing was going to end. Fixed Broadway bill? If you didn't, you're crazy. Broadway bill. Broadway bill. Broadway bill to win. Goodbye, Sawbuck. You might as well go crazy with the rest of the world. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? Broadway bill on the Stazola. Put your bet on. Gallant lady, of course. Me too. Now they're lining up at the barrier for the school of the island at quarter test of hot and horse flesh. A sport of kings, one of the oldest of sports. Gallant lady, the temperamental favorite, son of a great money horse. Broadway Bill, who threw his jockey in his last race and was literally laughed off the track. The wise ones say his owner, Dan Brooks, has a screw loose somewhere for entering him. But we're going to keep an eye yes. on... Any whiskey in the house? No, sir. Well, get some. Get some! Yes. I think they're ready for the bell now, and what excitement! Keep your eyes open, boys. Anything's liable to happen this race. Don't you forget to break fast, Bill.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a horse down, friends. Back up that track, please. Now, wait. No, don't get excited. And keep back. Everybody keep back. Officers, see that everybody keeps off that track. You know how dangerous it is. Those horses are coming back in a minute. All right, pick up that jacket. Hold the door down. Get over that fence. What are you doing, man? Don't you know that it's dangerous to get that track? Officers, keep those people back. Keep off the track, will you please? Look Give us a little row. All right, get back, everybody. Where's the doctor? All right, Doc, right this way. Get out here. Get out here, right this way, Doc. All right, Doc. Are you a doctor? Veterinary? What happened, Doc? It's Broadway Bill. Broadway Bill fell. He was over, he won, and then he dropped. What's the matter with him? Just a minute. Too much for him. First his heart. He was dead, you might say, when he hit the dirt. Well, too bad. Hold on for a picture, please. Come on, stay yeah. back, everybody, please. Yeah, Come on. Fellas. Officers, get those men yeah, out of the way. Yeah. Come on. Get them back. back. Yeah, everybody, yeah. back. Come on, get back, will you please? Everybody. Give us a little room. Yeah. Just right. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, these silly old eyes have seen some on, great horses. Where are you? Everybody. Off the track, everybody. Princess. To the winner of the Imperial Derby. We are grateful to Mr. Brooks for permitting us to lay Broadway Bill to rest here in these grounds so that his fine spirit may always be with us. What he did yesterday was a complete lesson in courage and loyalty. The ideal and purpose of horse racing is to teach us men and women lessons like this. If we profit by them, then racing is something more than a sport. And Broadway Bill must never be forgotten. Mr. Brooks.
Well, I'll have to say goodbye now, Dad. Going home, huh? Uh-huh. But not you. You won't. No. I guess I'm on my way. Good luck. You've been pretty swell, Princess. You've helped me over a lot of... Thanks, Dad. Well, there's Dad. Dad? Hello, Joe. <clears throat> Margaret come down with you? No, she didn't. You see, uh, Margaret sort of counted on your coming back to Higginsville. Now that Broadway Bill... Oh, yeah, I see, see. I figured this was a stroke of luck, I guess, huh? No, I'm not going back to jail. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, Margaret will be a hard girl to get to leave Higginsville, Dan. Maybe she shouldn't. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh, I don't know. Nothing seems to matter much anymore. Uh, will you take Alice back home? decision and it's final. But father, what's come over you? I can understand you're selling the paper box factory when Dan and I were divorced, but to go on disposing of the enterprises one after another, and now the ironworks. And next and last, the bank. Oh, not, not the, the bank. bank. Not the bank. My father, in two years, you've gotten rid of everything. Why shouldn't I get rid of it? It's mine to get rid of if I want to, isn't it? I'm giving institutions back to the people that founded them. I'm a man, not a whale that Gobbles up minnows. J.L., you're forcing us out. Well, what'll become of us? You? You'll have to go to work. You'll have to go out and find jobs. I want sons-in-laws that are men, not spineless dependents. I want... Mr. Brooks, sir. Release the princess from the dark tower, he said, sir. Don't be an idiot like your sister. Go on. Oh, gosh, it's good to see you. <laughs> look, look. Meet Broadway Bill II. And the princess. Oh, Dan. We're headed for Latonia. Come on. Goodbye, 